Welcome back to Assassin's Creed 3. Yeah, I got uh, many questions uh, why I don't play the remake and instead I'm playing the original game. Well, for your information, there is no difference between the remake and the original story other than the how it looks and how the graphics looks and also my computer will not run it so why why looking for the graphics while we can look into the real story itself and I'm sure because the story is amazing they have made a remake of it just like Resident Evil 2 Resident Evil 2 is a great story and since it's a great story they make the, the remake version of it so let's hit it and keep going from what we left come on let's walk <laughs> walking it does nothing here but who cares I still like it okay so is there anything can be done here? No, I think no. So gotta I love exploring as you know. Hmm. So why don't I explore a little? Can't speak? Speak! Whatever. Who? Oh. Hmm. Okay. Stay sleeping. I'll not wake you up. Oh. Okay. Interact. A moment to talk. Ah, a fellow Londoner. Good to see I'm not the only man of means aboard. Rupert Martin. Pleased to meet you. Hatham Kenway. Pleasure. Seems we picked an excellent time to leave the city. Oh? You didn't hear about the murder at the Opera House? No. What happened? They're still trying to sort it all out. And I suspect they'll be at it for a good long while. Any word on the moat? They've ruled out robbery. Eh? So perhaps it was a business arrangement gone sour. Or something more personal. More <laughs> lurid. Who knows? But I am glad to be away from it. The city grows more dangerous by the day. You're talking to the murderer. <laughs> the murderer is a friend of you. <laughs> the killer is a friend of you. Well, whatever. Good morning, Doctor. To you as well. A question, if I may. Do you serve aboard the ship, or are you simply taking passage? A bit of both, actually. I've been commissioned by the Royal Navy to study maritime illness. I'll be observing the crew during the journey. We have found that uh, sailors fare far better on the open seas than the rest of us. I hope to discover why that is. Well, I hope you are successful in your endeavors. As do I. Thank you for the kind word. No, okay. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Being kind and a murderer in the same time is kinda nice. So keep exploring the ship. Someone is singing. Oh, that's uh, the gate. Hmm. What is that?
Okay. Oh, it's a game. Okay, capture all opponent, opponent pieces. Um, uh, whatever. Please. Okay, 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 okay. What? Pretty strange. Hmm. How does this game work? Huh? Okay, I think I'm getting uh, a little idea about it. But whoa, 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 whoa. How? My God. How? How was that? Okay.
shit. Okay. Got three pieces versus three pieces. Two versus one. I guess now it is gonna be one versus one. Nice take. Okay. That was a bad move. Told you. Okay, I'm getting the idea. I'm dead. Yep. No. to drag me in, huh? Here? No. Bad. Here. No, 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 no. I'm not falling for that. Uh, okay. Because I don't want to waste any more time, let's uh, see... Uh, oh yeah, it's up. Okay, we are in the middle of the ocean. With... Uh, Captain? Mr. Kenway! I just wanted to thank you again for taking me aboard. And apologize for any... Inconvenience it may have caused. Inconvenience would be an understatement. I'm sorry, I don't follow. My ship was held in port for two days that we might accommodate you. I lost several contracts as a result. I had no idea. Of course not. You nobles are all the same. Okay. Is there anything here we can do? Huh. Wow. I love how the water, the ocean looks like. It's very, very amazing looking. Looks like real water to me. Yeah. And then all will be well. Are you sure about that? Of course. Have I ever led you astray? Nah. Though no, you don't sit right with the others. Have faith, my friend. You'll see. Well, well. Seems our esteemed guest has deigned to grace us with his presence. You might want to head back to your quarters. Top deck's no place for tender parnells. <laughs> so I thought. And yet here you are. Fancy yourself a joker, eh? Let's see how funny you find this. That's enough, Graves. Stay out of this. Shit. Come on, brother. Die. Die. Hmm. What? What's the button? Huh. 
Ouch. We got inside there. Take it. Listen to this, Hector. Thinks he can swagger on up here and declare himself king of the castle. Please, man. Call this off. If the captain sees us. To hell with the captain. And to hell with you, Mill. Who signed you on anyway? Ow. Wow. We're ready to go again if you are. This is unwise. What is that? You think I'm afraid of you? Oh, come you on. Simply passing the time with a bit of sport, Captain. How about you pass the time by doing your goddamn jobs instead? I wasn't aware I was paying you to loll about. A word, please, Mr. Kenway. Oh, I nearly forgot. There's your knife, Beth. <laughs> yeah, here's your knife, Beth. I don't care for you, Mr. Kenway. I've had nothing but trouble since you came aboard. Your problems have nothing to do with me. I beg your pardon? You're a poor leader, ill-tempered and cruel, and it's clear your crew has no respect for you. Look, I don't want to argue. In fact, I need a favor. Oh, this is rich. I suspect some of the men intend to mutiny. Really? What a surprise. As I cannot trust any of them, I am compelled to turn to you. And why should I help you? Because if they do intend to betray, I'm the only hope you have of reaching America alive. Well, what will it be? Oh. If what you say is true, what other choice do I have? Thank you. But let me be clear. Should you ever dare to insult or threaten me again, I'll not hesitate but to cut off your head myself. Are we understood? Excellent. Good day. <laughs> Matt! Okay, I have uh, to not lose any health, huh? Wait. What is that? Oh, maybe it's up there. Yep. Hello, sir. Do you expect we'll have a pleasant crossing? It is a quiet time of year, though rogue storms and troubled waters are not unheard of. But no need to fret. At worst, they'll prove an inconvenience. I'm more concerned about pirates and rogue privateers. Have you encountered them before? Aye. But the Providence is a strong ship, and her crew well trained. They will surely keep us safe. Okay. Interesting, I guess. Yeah.
Okay, let's get down and look for business. Which is uh, here. Okay. What are you writing? Wow! Mr. Kenway. Captain. Whatever they're up to, I believe it's coming to a head. I'd best get to work. We got a task to do. Task. A task. Okay. Don't lose 10% uh, of the health. Okay. Okay. Got it. Okay, something is here. You looking for another fight? That it? Go away. Hmm. All right. Let me first uh, look at this. Uh, Quite the base thing you gave Graves and Quill. Wasn't by choice. Aye. Blockheads to both of them. Where are my manners? Louis Mills. Pleased to meet you. Atham Kenway. So, should I be watching my back? I think the boys learned their lesson. That they're normally not so nasty. Honest, it's just the past few crossings have been a bit rough. Oh? Captain's trying to cut costs, reduce rations, lower wages, more dangerous cargo. It's put the crew on edge. Is there cause for concern, then? Not if I can help it. But the captain needs to think about the way he treats his men. It's down. Lower. Lower. So oh, it should be somewhere around here. Alright. Right. Oh. Him. You there. I have some questions for you. That's nice. But I ain't got time to gossip. Probably wouldn't have anything useful to share anyway. You want information? Try the cook or the doctor. Everyone's always chatting them up. Hmm. The doctor or the other man. Let me start with that doctor. That uh, person right here. A doctor, if you have a moment. Have you taken it? Oh, nothing like that. I was wondering if you'd heard any rumblings of trouble aboard. What sort of trouble? Unusual complaints or grievances. Men taking issue with the captain you or the You sound passengers. just like James. Like I told him, I've been much too busy with my research to notice anything not work-related. And where might I find James? The galley's your best bet. Now, if you'll excuse me. Okay, as expected. 
Uh, the doctor do know nothing. Let's head the other guy. Are you James? Hi. Atham Kenway. Pleased to meet you. I know who you are. I was hoping you could answer some questions. I figured as much, but not here. Follow me. Mm -hmm. No, what do you want to know? Have you seen or heard anything out of the ordinary since we left port? Anything that gives cause for concern? Some of the men have been gathering at night on the upper deck. I've only caught bits of their conversations, so I couldn't say for certain what they're up to. But I suspect it bodes ill. Is it a mutiny they're planning? All I know is they have little love for the captain. Mills has been trying to talk him down, but there's only so much one man can do. Thank you for the information. I only wish to see us reach the colonies alive. Hmm. Okay. So gotta not lose health if I wanna fall same conversation. Okay. Faster. Evening, sir. How are things? Calm and quiet. Just the way I like it. What brings you topside? Thought I'd wander a bit. Stretch my legs. That's all. Take care where you tread. The deck hides all manner of danger in the dark. What was that? Someone's throwing cargo overboard. But why? Hmm. Interesting, actually. Okay, that's uh, down below. Okay. Not here, I guess. Or is it here already? You must expose whatever they're plotting. Your crew is a tight lipped bunch. But I'll see what I can do. Well, hurry up! Help, I can see what I can do. Maybe you will not teach me what to do, okay? Quite the base thing you gave Graves and Quill. Wasn't by choice. Aye. Blockheads, the both of them. Hmm, I think I heard Paramount this Mammoth, before. Louis Mills, pleased to meet you. Atham Kenway. Okay. Okay, this one is... Uh, got nothing new to, to talk about. So, gotta go in... Claims were not provisioned for such luxuries. It's not right that you should pay for land and wine. But we're stuck with tinned fish and biscuits. Someone needs to have words with them. Bill's trying. Captain, turn him away.
Any news? Each night it's the same. I scout one area, and they drop the painted barrels from another. I'm going to need to recruit an extra pair of eyes. Maybe James or Mills. Why are they doing this? Near as I can tell, the barrels serve as markers. They're leaving a trail. My fear is it's only a matter of time before whoever's following it. Ship sighted off! She's making ready to fire! Feet to quarters, men! Ready the... Brace! Everybody down! Okay, got it. A warning shot. Seems they don't mean to sink us, but board us instead. Man the cannons! Make ready to fight! I want you below decks. Why? Let me help you secure the ship. Do you know how to rig a sail? To load a cannon? To wage war at sea? I didn't think so. Now return to your cabin, or do I need to have you escorted? Secure the hatch! Nathan. Have you been topside? Our ship's appeared and means to board us. Strange. There's no sign of mutiny aboard. It doesn't make sense. Ah, but it does. What do you mean? Did you think you could escape from London so easily after what you did at the Opera? That we wouldn't notice? That we wouldn't follow? Ah. So that's what this is about. Surrender, and I will see that you are treated with honor. If you wish to treat me with honor, give me a sword. Are you sure this is how you want to play it? did as you asked. Only Mills was there waiting for me. He's the one that drew that ship here. There was no mutiny. Only him. What do they want? Me. Then they can have you. Is that so? They'll catch us anyway. There's nothing to be done. I can think of something. You wish us to sail into the storm? It's our only chance. I won't do it. <sighs> then I will. All right. All right. I will do it. I will do it. Take the foremast! 
Okay, what else? Day 72. How many days are we gonna waste in this shit? In this shit? Hmm. Okay, did I do it right? I hope, I hope, I hope. Okay, what else? It's up on the top. Make ready for our arrival, men! Arrival? Arrival? I see no land, only this interminable fog. The gulls tell us all we need to know. Climb into the crow's nest and you'll see. Okay. Okay. I'll climb and uh, take a good look. Yeah. Still going up. Okay. Gotta keep going up. Go up. Go up. Up, 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 up. Don't tell me I'm going. Oh yeah. Away, way up again. Okay, that's enough. Enough for now. I hope you like it and I will see you next time. Master Kenway! Master Kenway! Yes, may I help you? Charles Lee, sir. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. I've been asked to introduce you to the city, help you settle in. Oh, no need, sir. I've arranged for your bags to be delivered to the inn. Are you by any chance John and Isabella's son? One and the same. 
Your commission is with Edward Braddock, is it not? Aye. But he's yet to reach America, and I figured I might... Well, at least until he arrives, I thought... Yes? Out with it? Forgive me, sir. I had... I had hoped that I might study under you. If I am to serve the Order, I can imagine no better mentor than yourself. Kind of you to say, but I think you overestimate me. Impossible, sir. This way. Boston's quite a lively city. There's all manner of things to see and do. Once you've settled in, I suggest you take some time to walk the streets. Who knows what opportunities you might see? Hold a moment. I need to fetch a few things before we get to work. I'll arrange for horses while you do that. This accursed city will be the death of me. You seem troubled, friend. That's because I am. Greatly so, in fact. What's happened? I was robbed. The old Balkan file. Though I've managed to restore what's mine, I fear it's ruined. You mean the book? This is no ordinary book. It's an almanac. The first I ever wrote. <clears throat> Benjamin Franklin, pleased to meet you. Hatham Kenway. You must be new to Boston. Why do you say that? You're still possessed of virtue. <laughs> to stop and help an old lout like myself. I... I don't mean to impose, but... You seem a spry fellow. Should you happen to find my missing pages, I'll reward you. Look, I'm not sure if I... It's all right, all right. If you have the time, hurrah! If not, no harm done. The thing is useless in its current state anyway. But should you somehow manage to restore it, you'll find me inside that general store over there. Well, that was interesting. The Mohawk Indians have responded favorably to efforts to reduce strife between their people and ourselves. 